Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com and today I'm going to help you understand how to work with text in Adobe Photoshop. I'm using the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a canvas open, go to File, New, or use the keyboard shortcut Control and the letter N. And we will open up a new canvas with the US paper preset and 300 pixels per inch and I'm going with RGB color. I'll click OK to create that canvas and there it is. And I'll zoom in a bit by holding down Control and pressing plus on my keyboard. The text tool in Adobe Photoshop is located fourth from the bottom on the right hand side of the tools window which if you don't already have open you can find by going to window tools and opening up the tools window here once again fourth from the bottom and it may be hiding behind the vertical type tool the horizontal mask tool or horizontal type mask tool the vertical type mask tool we won't cover any of those in this, uh, but we will in other videos. If any of those are selected instead of the horizontal type tool, simply left click, hold down, you will see this menu appear and you can select the horizontal type tool. The keyboard shortcut is the letter T, meaning if I'm using another tool and I wanted to use the horizontal type tool, simply by hitting the letter T on my keyboard. I will be taken back to that tool. Let me show you how it works. First, I will simply click anywhere on my canvas to create a start point, and you will see a flashing line appear. And now I can type in. And this is like any other text editor up until this point, anyways. And we can, of course, edit that. We can write as much as we want. We can press Enter to skip down to the next line. But uh, I'll undo that, and I'll go back to the Move tool here, and we can of course move this around. This has created a separate layer for this text. If you don't know how to use layers already, I created a separate video to help you do that. And we can move this around, um, but what I'm going to really look at in this tutorial is the different ways we can change the text in Photoshop. I'm going to do this using a couple windows which I already have open but if you don't you can find by going to window and we want the paragraph window open and I'll open that up and there that is we will also want the character window open which I already have open over here but you can find by going to window character and I'll open that up and we can see our two windows right there. Now there are several different ways uh, we can change our text. Over here we can change the justification which we won't be able to see uh, since we only have our one line of text but of course this is like all other text editors and if we had a bunch of text we can either have it justified to the left, to the center, or to the right. We can of course uh, justify all and uh, like most other text editing uh, programs. Down here we can change some more of the advanced functions. We can use the full bold right there. We have to make sure our layer is selected of course. There we go. And we can see, I'll zoom in a bit more so you can have a better look at that. I can click to bold or unbold this although this is a full bold and this although it looks like it bolds it it doesn't really this is something that uh, Photoshop is doing in some of your fonts maybe not all of them you will be able to click over here to the right of the font to select the attributes of it and over here we can select bold and it's already selected uh, but let's select something else such as black which will Let's make sure that's like, uh, we can select bold, which will make it bold, or we can select black, which will make it even bolder. 
although you may not have these options depending on your font. But this one that I'm using, MyRig Pro, has several different options we can select from. We can change the size by clicking on this drop down box and selecting a predefined size, or we can click and drag here to change the size. Over here, we can find the leading, which again you cannot see, but I'll create a separate line so we can see what this does. And you will see when I change this now, it changes the space between the lines. Here we can change the tracking, which we can set to 10. You can't see much of a change there, but if I set it to 200, you can see a quite obvious change. And so what it's changing is the space in between the letters going horizontally. And of course I can change this. I can make the letters very close together or very far apart. Down here we can change the attributes of the font itself. We can scale them vertically to make the text taller or we can make it shorter if we want. We can also stretch out the width of this text. And of course here we can change the color of the text. And down here as I touched on before are some other options such as the full bold, the faux italics. Here we have all caps which will change your text to all caps. Right here we have small caps which will change it to caps but keep the justification of the capital letters and the lowercase letters. Here we can click on superscript which is useful if you're writing in a date and you want to write in the th after a number. For example, if I get rid of this, we can write in the 17th. We can select this and make that smaller up in the corner. We can of course also do the opposite, subscript, which will sink the text down to the bottom and I'll show you this by clicking that and you will see that it drops the text down. We can also underline the text by clicking here to underline all the text or we can click this to strike through all the text. So there's a very quick overview of how to use some of the features with text in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.